finally we came back to Tokyo. Today we are at Asakusa Station. It's August 21st. Summer vacation is almost ending. It's been a while after we left from Tokyo. So yeah, today let me give you guys a travel situation update on this video. As you saw my last video of Shinkansen from Osaka to Tokyo, there are really few people in the Shinkansen and I realized that there are less travelers so I was wondering how is Asakusa now? How do you guys think? Is there many still people over there or it became less? So here we go. That's Sensoji Temple. Oh, seems like it's okay, huh? Since there were no one in the Shinkansen, I thought it would be less people. But uh... <laughs> Still, Asakusa is as popular as before. Oh wait, probably much less compared to before. The last time when I visited, it's almost summer vacation is ending, so people are kind of getting ready for the school. So probably that's the reason why there are few people over here. One thing that I realized is that there are more travelers from China compared to before. I heard the government's restriction gets easier for the Chinese tourists. So that's why maybe there are more people compared to before. This Nakamise street, it was kind of hard to walk the last time when I visited. But today, there are still space. After two weeks from now, this place will be super quiet, I believe, because the summer vacation will over for Japanese schools. We just finished one of the biggest holiday in Japan, Obon. So probably at that time there were so many people. However, but after ended, now it's less travelers. I saw the photo of the Disneyland compared to before. Yeah, there were really few people. So maybe now is the time to visit over there. Today we are planning to visit from Asakusa to Akihabara. On the way, we stopped by the Ueno too, so hopefully through this video, you can see the travel situation in Japan. Here we go. What a beautiful day. We just arrived to Sensoji Temple. If you just keep straight in the Nakamise Street, you will get to this temple. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you ocha? The green tea advertisement is still here. Yep. It cooler so that really helping the travelers during the pandemic there were big construction over here and uh, they fixed the places but after that it became really open and more beautiful ah, love the weather <laughs> sweet because of less people over here there is shorter line for the oi ocha why not let's be in line it was like three minutes waiting you can just get the cup over here and uh, get the green tea i want to have a cold one sweet over here there is a portable ac too cool <laughs> there is Oi Ocha's mascot over here. The seat is tatami, the green tea. <laughs> Still, in Japan, it's really hot. Today, 34 degrees now. So yeah, if you're visiting Japan, don't forget to hydrate yourself. <sighs> Psycho. Oh, look at that area over there. This place, there are water mist under the sunshine. Really nice place to take a rest, huh? Oh, look at that. The last time when I was here, I didn't realize, but uh, there is an old toy store, huh? There are many Ultramans and also... I don't know how to call this toy, but looks really familiar. Probably uh, something old. <laughs> and also the snow globe of the Godzilla and the King Ghidra. Nice. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> I used to play with this mini yonku. I think the price was 500 Japanese yen when I was a kid, but now they sell it with 1,300 Japanese yen. I think it's not that bad, huh? Thinking about the premiere. How about this tree? Wow, I can't believe it's still summer vacation. Probably everyone are tired going out during the big holiday Obon and also because of the typhoon. There are no line at Asakusa Menchi neither. Probably this street will be more quiet early of September. So if you are visiting here, Tokyo, around that season, right decision. There are many small stores on this street, but I've never seen it open. So yeah, I'm wondering if is it a real store or not. There is nice art on the shutter though. <laughs> it's my first time to realize that there is a mascot of Asakusa on this street. This street called Orange Street and this is the mascot. However, can you guys take a guess what it is? Yes, this is the Orange Street. So I thought at the first time it's an orange but it looks weird. So the answer is... <laughs> Actually, it's the mascot of the hand, hand of the craftsmen. Since there are many craftsmen over here, so <laughs> the hands, mascot over here. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, you know, usually the street mascot character is cute, but uh, this one is something interesting. Yep, the hand. Eh? It is interesting as much as the Osaka Expo's mascot. Yeah, I really look forward to the Osaka's Expo. So yeah, <laughs> let's keep waiting. Now we are at New Nakamise Street, which is the arcade. Oh my goodness, it's my first time to see the Kewpie mascot, the Yakuza version. <laughs> really interesting. I've been walking here so many times this street, however, Whenever I walk, I found something new. So yeah, it is really interesting street. <laughs> the panda face and also <laughs> Tama. <laughs> Tama is a really popular Japanese cat's name. So not the puma, it's Tama. We already came back to the Nakamise street. Next, let's go to the Ueno station and the Ameyoko street. As you see, this is the center of Nakamise Street. If you want to go to the station through the Shin Nakamise Arcade, just keep straight and just walk through the arcade. Keep straight. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that! The strawberry smoothie! Looking pretty good. Turn right on the first corner, keep straight. You will find a cute rice cracker store on your right. Look at that cat rice cracker. So cute. But still keep straight. There is a Ginza line on your left. Yep, this Tokyo Metro is the line that you want to use for going to Ueno from Asakusa. And just take the train. Basically, the platform number one and two, those are the same direction, so choose the one whichever first there. It takes only five minutes, three stations away. Seems like a little bit crowded in the train. Ooh, finally arrived to winner. Somehow it was super crowded inside the train, so only five minutes, but it feels like pretty long. The Ueno station's platform, there is Sakura and also the Panda. Those are the two things really popular in Ueno Park. From Asakusa to Ueno, it costs 178 Japanese yen. Oh, look at that stained glass. 
It's beautiful. Loving it. We are heading to Nakamise Street. Hopefully, we can find something to eat over there. Probably will not be crowded, I believe. If you use the escalator in front of the exit, you can just keep straight and you will find the JR station. It is really simple. Oh, this is the one I was talking about. It's a wood puzzle. Actually, you can build it like a Lego. The price is 6,600 Japanese yen. I think thinking about the quality, it's pretty good, huh? Yeah. I think because of the 3D printer technique increase so that they can sell it with this price. It's amazing. Here, they have a miniature house as well. Look at the quality. The bakery. Price is 4,720 Japanese yen. Wow. That's a good deal. Look at the details. It's so detailed. <laughs> T-Rex and other dinosaurs. The T-Rex is only 3,150 Japanese yen. Also, uh, it moves, it says. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well, maybe it will, maybe not. Also, there is a cheaper one as well. Gorilla and the elephant. The price is 935 Japanese yen. Anyways, let's go to check the Amiyoko street and also try to find the food. I'm starving. It's not the dinner time yet. Still 4.30. So probably, you know, thinking about the how crowded town is, Amiyoko street wouldn't be that crowded. So hopefully we can find some quiet restaurant and I can eat in the film. So let's keep walking. If you were walking to the Amiyoko street, it's just right front of the exit. Keep straight. If you are using the train to go into the airport, there is a KSA line over there. So either way, just get out from the exit and keep straight. Yes, that's Keisei Ueno Station, the station you will arrive if you use the Skyliner from the airport. And uh, Amiyoko Street, just in front of it. So let's keep walking. Yeah, definitely, compared to before. Really quiet. Seems like those restaurants hasn't opened yet. I'm not sure because it's not the dinner time yet or they close. Probably they open because there is a table. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> we are here and the claw machine is here. You know what it means? It means I got to try. Today, let's try this Ghibli Pinbaches. Seems like it's not that hard, right? Especially that one over there. Yeah, I can just get it. And then this one is light, so should be fine. Yeah, should I? No! It's cow nashi. <laughs> you know what? Let me try it one more time. Because seems like it's super easy, right? Here. No. I don't think I can never get it. Well, it's okay. You know, today is just an unlucky day. Maybe the next time when I try, I can get it. <laughs> so yeah, maybe next time. Now we arrive to the Ameyoko Street entrance. Thinking about still it's summer vacation. It's really quiet, huh? No. Seems like this restaurant street is quiet as well. Oh really? Usually this restaurant is super packed, but uh, now it's quiet. So why not today? Let's eat over here. So those are the menu items. Prices are really good price. Wow. This salmon bowl, only 500 Japanese yen. And this tuna, fatty tuna and the salmon, 650 Japanese yen. 
and this Hokkaido scallop salmon, salmon roe and the crab, 1,200 Japanese yen. Why not? Oh, wait, there is a discount here, 1,000 Japanese yen. Let's try that. Today, I ordered a special seafood bowl. The seafood bowl was 1,000 Japanese yen, and the beer was 350 Japanese yen. So all together, 1,350 Japanese yen. I'm really excited. <laughs> I was starving, so super happy that I can eat. <laughs> Sweet. The beer and the seafood bowl came. Still, the beer is frozen. <laughs> Loving it. Kanpai. Psycho. So this is the seafood bowl, what I have ordered. Inside, there is a tuna and a shrimp, salmon, and a salmon roll. Squid as well. Sounds good. Itadakimasu. Let me mix wasabi here and the soy sauce. Itadakimasu. My shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, thinking about the price and the place, it's pretty good. Eh? No wonder there is always a line. I remember the last time when I visit around this place, there is a takoyaki store next to this place. That place always, always, always line. So I kind of surprised that I didn't see the line over there. Probably because there are few travelers right now. Yeah. Again. Still, we are on the summer vacation. Can't believe. Well, haven't eaten the seafood for a while. I didn't expect that I could eat the seafood. Somehow, it's already become a quiet season. Maybe everyone is busy for getting ready for the school or something. Yeah. Mm. And uh, speaking of the apartment, you know, I left from Tokyo for a month and uh, the apartment itself was pretty much empty and uh, no one lived there, right? I think because of that, uh, there are the smell problem again. If you see my area of my video that, uh, you know, I finally moved to Tokyo, in that video, I was struggling with the smell of the apartment, right? And then now, you know, after living a while, I think it's because of the summer, I trashed all the trash. However, again, I believe it's because of the, my apartment is kind of old. So that's why it's kind of like shogunai. However, giving me a headache. This time, because of the perfume for the room, much better, much, much better. So, kapai for that and arigato. <laughs> All right, so still we are walking toward to Akihabara, so let's go. Oof, I'm so full. As you can sense it, that they are selling the beer with 350 Japanese yen at Ameyoko Street, which is a really popular travel spot. Yeah, thinking about the price and the quality, I think it's pretty good. Loving it. I like their takoyaki stores too, though. Sweet. Let's keep walking. Yes, after drinking a beer, I'm a happy man. <laughs> Let's keep walking. At the end of Ameyoko Street, there is Don Quixote. And a uh, station in front of you, that's Okachimachi Station. <laughs> Look at that Uniqlo store. Fancy. Looks like a high-tech building. If you don't want to walk, you can take the train from this Okachimachi station heading to Akihabara. It's only one station away. But uh, if you don't mind to walk, you can just keep straight this street and you will get to Akihabara. Today, since we have time, we will walk. Oh, sweet! I didn't know that there is a Yomoda Soba. Basically, they are the soba restaurants. However, this place, they sell the curry as well. The, this one over here. Their curry is pretty good, but uh, incredibly spicy as well. Speaking of the price, they have the soba and the curry. Price is only 560 Japanese yen. If you love something spicy and the Japanese curry, definitely you gotta try that. 
It's very interesting story. <laughs> yeah, let me be honest with you guys. The last time I tried it, and uh, because of that was spicy, I couldn't finish it because I kind of worry that uh, I will get the stomach ache. However, I feel like that I want to try it again. Yes, because it tastes was good. <laughs> <laughs> the price was good too. So yeah, if you love something spicy curry, try it and please let me know how you like it. Usually this square, there is some event and the festival, but seems like today, nothing, just a square. I like walking this street because there are many classic restaurants and the Japanese atmosphere. If it's your first time to visit Japan and you have time, I recommend you to walk from here to Akihabara. You will enjoy that. <laughs> also, this ramen restaurant is really popular for someone who loves spicy. Their ramen is super spicy. However, really popular as well. If you haven't tried that, maybe you can try that, you will like it. However, that restaurant over there is a different level. So if you can't eat something spicy, uh, definitely you can't go there. And me neither, I usually don't go there. But uh, one of my friends who loves spicy food, they always go there and the eat. So yeah, if you love something spicy, there are so many spicy foods in Japan. Maybe you can try that. Still, we have 32 degrees and uh, we have beautiful sky as well. However, feels like really cool. Maybe because of the wind. Oh, really? Look at that. I found something interesting. Ayataka Cafe. Ayataka is one of the really popular green tea in Japan made by the Coca-Cola company and they made a hojicha and a coffee which is a roasted tea and a coffee <laughs> I'm wondering if it's good or not Let me try that So it's Ayataka Latte Eh? Why it's not working? Maybe the connection wasn't that good Let me try it again so it's Ayataka Latte. Sweet! Here we go! <laughs> it's roasted green tea and the coffee. How do you guys think? Does it match? Or do you think it would be interesting? So, come by. Oh, oh, she. Oh, it's interesting. A little bit green tea flavor. However, after that, immediately you can have the coffee flavor as well. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, loving it. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to say interesting, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it was good. Good surprise and I love it. I love trying something new, something I found on the street and uh, I want to explore more. I'm planning to go into abroad country this year. So if you haven't, don't be shy. Please hit the subscribe button and join the adventure. Let's keep walking. Let's go. When you hit the Kuramae Bashidori Avenue, just turn right and keep straight. At the first intersection, turn left, then you will get to the Akihabara area. In front of you, you see the sign of Tokyo Metro? That's Suehirocho Station. That means you are on the right track. So basically from here, Akihabara Electric Street started. It continues all the way down to Akihabara Station. You see? The Ultraman and the Godzilla. All the fashion one. It's, oh, look at that. Uh, this one is the super fast rice cooker for one person. It can cook only in 14 minutes. And uh, you can have the rice. The price is 5,180 Japanese yen. How do you think? Interesting. And gashapon places. 
<laughs> In small place, there are so many gacha phones. Oh, really? The small version of baseball board game. Really? I think it's too small to play that, but interesting though. <laughs> and look at that. It's the Sanrio's bat wedding ring. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, interesting. <laughs> and look at that. It's a tempura monster. How do you guys think? They are the art, yes. Contemporary art. <laughs> And that's the biggest Akihabara's Don Quixote. There is a AKB theater. I'm not sure if still there is an AKB theater or not. But uh, <laughs> if you're the big Don Quixote fan, you can come over here. Let me see if there is something interesting gacha phone over here. Uh, there's something interesting, something interesting, something interesting. Oh, look at that. I found something interesting. It's the Gashapon handle. <laughs> really? I'm wondering who want to buy that. Would you? 300 Japanese yen. You can have the either one's Gashapon handle. Well, maybe you can get anything, but uh, you feel like you're doing the Gashapon. Seems like it's smaller one though. Sweet, it's always great meeting you guys. Ready? Soon. <laughs> I always love meeting you guys. If you see me on the street, don't forget to cow to me so that I can realize you are a viewer. So let's keep walking. Let's go. And we are at another gachapon spot. There are just so many gachapon in Akihabara. If you love gachapon, yeah, definitely this is the place to come. It's getting more crowded over here because now it's time to go home for the salary mans and there are so many companies over here. So not sure if I walk during the daytime. Might be crowded or not. We get to the main entrance of Akihabara Station. Probably if you use the JR and coming to Akihabara, this is the street that you will be arriving. Yes, this unique building welcomes you. Let's go to my favorite hidden spot in Akihabara. It's at the Akihabara UDX. Just keep straight toward to the Akihabara UDX. So many salarymen going back home now. Just keep straight and use this escalator over there. Oh, it is cool. I love the atmosphere of end of summer. It's still hot, but not that hot. Kind of quiet. Everyone is kind of getting busy as well. I don't know how to say it in English, but uh, it has Fusei. Fusei. Yeah. When you arrive to UDX, just turn right and uh, keep that street over there. Here. Usually it's quiet and not that many people. You can enjoy watching train as well. If you love train, yeah, this is the spot. All right, here. So how did you guys think compared to the last time when you visited Japan? Was it more crowded or less people? Yes, during the summertime, there were so many people in the street. However, end of the summertime, it kind of quiet. Early of September will be more quiet. However, from October, gradually getting more and more people visit Japan. And December and the New Year, that will be packed again. Well, but uh, I'm a full-time content creator, so even if it's September or October, I'm planning to travel to other places too, so yes, there are more adventures are coming. If you're busy, don't worry about it. I will travel instead of you, and I share the beautiful places with you through this vlog. So if you haven't, don't be shy. Please hit the subscribe button 
and the notification button so that you will not miss my new videos and the surprise live stream. And uh, if this video will help for your next Japan trip, please don't forget to hit the like button so that it will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. Big thank you to all of the Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. <laughs> Arigato! See you in the next video. See you no. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye bye. You know, I'm kind of getting nervous going to Mount Fuji because I've never been there. Luckily, this time my friend is going to with me. So, it should be okay. Should be okay. This is how I'm telling. But, uh, yeah. You know, if something happens or if I couldn't do it, kind of so many pressures. But uh, I love challenging as well, and uh, I love experience something new too. So at the same time, kind of excited feeling. Have you guys had this kind of feeling? You are really excited, but at the same time, you feel like that you don't want to do it, or you are kind of afraid of it. But anyway, you will do it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that kind of feeling I have. Anyways, even if I can't go climb Mount Fuji until the top, it will be okay. You know, everything will be the experience and uh, whatever happens, I will try to share on my blog. So yeah, please look forward to it. You might be amazed or you might be disappointed. You know, whatever happens or whatever you see, this is my real life and the real life drawing. So yeah, no one can control. And I enjoy that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy that. Shoo! <laughs>